So last night was the final night of the Republican National Convention, also known as the place where Facebook comments come to life. And this was the night that everyone was waiting for, the acceptance speech of Donald Just the Tip Trump. But before the speech even started, we got this incredible moment between Trump's first lady and Melania. Oh my God, did you guys see that? Play it again. God damn. As soon as Ivanka walked by, Melania's smile disappeared faster than all the blackface episodes of all your favorite sitcoms. And it's moments like these that just add more fuel to the rumors that Melania does not like Ivanka. And look, I don't blame her. I mean, after all, Ivanka's the one who's in charge of tackling Melania when she makes a run for it. No wonder they got bad blood. But once the traditional exchange of fake smiles was complete, President Trump descended the majestic stairs of the White House, walked up to the podium, and then delivered the longest, most boring, low energy Jeb Bush ass speech of his entire life. Damn, that shit was boring. And I would be so pissed off if I was one of the people in the audience. Because if I'm sitting in a crowd, risking catching coronavirus to watch a Trump speech, God damn it! I want a Trump speech. I want to hear his plans for locking Hillary up while chugging hydroxychloroquine. I want him to accuse Nancy Pelosi of creeping into your houses at night, turning up your air conditioning, and stealing your blankets. I want to see him hold up a big case of 10-year-old Trump steaks, say that they're the real cure for corona, and then start throwing them into the crowd, paper towel style. But this speech, man, This speech was like going to a NASCAR race and watching the cars parallel park for three hours. Where's the crash? Honestly, it was really weird. Because say what you want about Trump. The one thing we all know about the man is that he can give exciting speeches that hold people's attention. So why now? With one of the most important speeches he will ever have to give, did Trump resort to reading the Wikipedia entry for history of the 19th century? Our American ancestors, sailed across the perilous ocean to build. These pioneers didn't have money. Climbed into their covered wagons and set out west for the next adventure. Davy Crockett and Buffalo Bill. Cowboys and sheriffs. They pressed on past the Mississippi. Built the great ships. Raised up the skyscrapers. From Normandy to Iwo Jima. And we did it all with style and confidence We and built flair. a six million pound rocket and launched it thousands of miles into space. Together we are unstoppable. Together we are unbeatable. Huh? What? No, I'm, I'm, I'm listening, I'm listening. People, what the hell was that? Like, I don't know what was worse, the perilous journey that those pioneers faced trekking across the country or having to sit through Trump telling us about it. I mean, the last people that told stories that boring were the actual pioneers. And that's because the only other things they could do were chop wood or die. It's like Trump turned Oregon Trail into an audiobook. And by the time the speech was over, I bet half the people in the audience died of dysentery. So, now we know. President Trump is a terrible president, but we also know that he'd be an even worse substitute history teacher. Sometimes you gotta know when to just play the Space Jam DVD, man. Give up. 